Hello, welcome to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today I want to cover the embed code for a scheduled YouTube video and then getting that into your scheduled blog post. So I was looking for um, a video on YouTube to show me how to do this and I couldn't find one. So I kind of just uh, took a guess and it worked. So I thought I would share that with you in a video and that way it might save you some time and um, frustration if you are also trying to find the embed code for a scheduled YouTube video. So first let's go over to the YouTube videos. So here is my video manager videos um, in my YouTube channel. And as you can see, this first one here is scheduled and the other, the next one down is published. And if I go into this scheduled video, as you can see right here, there is no place to get the embed code. It doesn't say share anywhere. If I go to the next one down and click on that one, you can see here there is a share and if i click on share there is the url and then the next button over is embed and there is the embed code so what i did in order to solve my issue was i used the embed code from this video but i changed it and what i did was if you look in this embed code, there is some numbers and letters right here. The 8K, R, E, M, Y, those, that's what I'm talking about. Now, if I pop back over to where it says share, in this URL, it has those same letters and numbers. So what I did was I took the embed code from this video and swapped out these letters and numbers for the letters and numbers in the URL under my scheduled video. So go back in, going back into the scheduled video, if I click on info and settings, over here to the right, you can see the video URL. So I took those letters and numbers, just those letters and numbers, and copy that and paste that into the embed code from the other one, swap, again, swap those out, and that's how I was able to get my embed code. Now, another way to get the embed code, it's a little bit more detailed, is to go from scheduling it to unlisted. Hit save changes, and then when I go up here to the title again and click on it and it runs the video, now it gives me the option to share. And I can click on the embedded and there's the embed code. Now let me also make note here, this embed code is with nothing checked, okay? Now you can change your video size here as well and check these different options that will change the code. What I mean by change the code is this. Okay, so now you can see here is the share URL. Next is the code where none of the boxes are checked. In the aqua blue here, this code, okay, that stops it from show, showing suggested videos when the video is finished. The, what this means is once the video is done, it will start playing something else. To stop that, it has this code here, okay? Now in the uh, sort of lime green, this code added in here, okay? That is what um, stops it from showing the player controls. Okay, controls equals zero. For the show video and player actions, 
it's this code is taken out and only this code is there. The controls equals zero, okay? And then lastly, you're able to enable privacy and this um, hyphen no cookie, that's what and, um, changes the code to enable privacy enhanced mode. So again, if you already have this code here saved somewhere on your computer and you're going to schedule a video, you can just replace these numbers and letters highlighted in yellow with the numbers and letters in the URL that you're given for the new video that you're um, scheduling. Okay, that's how I was able to do that. Just swap that out. And again, you're able to change uh, the embed code by clicking on those different buttons. And this is how it changes them. I'll share these codes in, in my blog post so that you can see that in more detail if you'd like to just copy and paste. Now, I do want to go back into this video that I had scheduled and remember to get that embed code straight from the, that video itself. We had to switch it to unlisted. We're going to have to go back into info and settings. And now we want to switch it back to scheduled, but it's not going to let us until first we switch it into private. Okay, and hit save changes. Then hit scheduled again and go back and fix that. Okay. And then publish it. So there you have it. That's how you're able to either create or find the embed code for a scheduled YouTube video so that you can then put that embed code into your scheduled blog post. If you have any additional questions, certainly put those in the comments below this video. If you have any tips for upcoming videos, definitely put those in the comments below as well. I hope you did find this video useful. If so, I would really appreciate you clicking on the little thumbs up. It's the like button and subscribing to the channel itself definitely will give you some updates for upcoming videos that are published. If you'd like to keep the conversation going, you can find me over on Facebook and Twitter. And certainly if you're looking for transcription services, you can hop on over to farmtranscriptionservices.com. There you'll also find the blog where I will have some additional information on this topic. So I really appreciate you watching this video and I will see you next week.